Hi, this is a Tutor Nick B, and this is lesson 457. The title of today's lesson is The Difference Between Purportedly and Supposedly. And this is one that often will come up in class because a lot of times these two words might end up being in the same article and they have similar meanings. And a lot of times students will say, well, what's the difference? Because when you look at the definition from the dictionary, a lot of times they look quite similar. Okay, anyway, let's take a look at the note here. I'll step back for a second if someone wants a screenshot. All right, let's continue. Uh, these two similar adverbs uh, can be tricky uh, because they both mean that you are not 100% sure about something. Uh, one, meaning a person here, has skepticism with both terms, but supposedly tends to suggest more skepticism or your doubt is stronger with supposedly than it is with purportedly. All right, let's continue. Uh, if a person says that something has purportedly happened or been done, you think it has been done usually because it has been reported, like it might be reported on the news uh, that way, or certain sources claim it to be true. But you yourself have not checked or researched it, though, to confidently believe or trust it. Yeah, so, and you know, these days, you know, sometimes we often hear stories that later on often turn out to be incorrect. There really is a lot of fake news out there, or there's things that's very misleading that's reported in the news. So sometimes you want to play it safe. You want to say, well, purportedly, you know, just in case this turns out to be incorrect later, don't blame me. I said purportedly, you know, I didn't really get to check it myself. That's a little bit kind of what you're saying. You know, you don't want your own reputation to be hurt. Uh, because you didn't actually check it. But, you know, that's what they say, and they're supposed to be right. Uh, purported is usually used with things that have already happened, So, they've, and they usually somebody has already reported on it. All right, let's continue. Uh, if someone says that something supposedly happened or is going to happen, yes, yeah, so supposedly could be used with future things as well. Uh, it is according to what someone has said or is believed by others, but it is often used to emphasize the speaker or possibly the writer um, Yeah, has some serious doubts about the truth. Well, supposedly, but I don't know. I, I don't really, this is what they're saying, but I don't think they're right at all. So supposedly more often is like that. Okay, so if one uh, uses it about a future occurrence, you may feel that there is a fair chance that for some reason it may not happen, you know. Uh, it could be canceled or have other issues, so you have more doubts about it. It could happen, but you feel that there's a, a fair or kind of a stronger chance that you know, it may not happen at all. All right, anyway, we got five examples to kind of cover this, so you can kind of feel how each one you know, is used. All right, here's the first one. From what I have heard, he is purportedly one of the best uh, lawyers, uh, but I have never researched any of his cases. So, you know, I've, I've heard it reported this way, but, you know, I never really checked into him myself. So, again, uh, I can't 100% tell you, but, you know, that's kind of what I heard out there. Uh, number two, the government claims to have evidence that purportedly shows his guilt. All right, now, in this case, you are reporting that it's been reported that way. But um, it probably means the government hasn't revealed this evidence yet. So if it hasn't revealed it yet, you can't really be 100% sure about it. So you may not necessarily completely doubt it, but you want to wait till you see what it is. So you might just say, well, purportedly. Okay. Uh, number three here. Uh, the media reports uh, reportedly claimed that policeman was responsible for his death, but the autopsy eventually proved, uh, proved it to be drugs. So here you weren't really doubting it to begin with. It was reported that way. But in the end, it really did turn out to be not really quite right. The, the original reporting was misleading. All right, number four here. Subo now, now we're using supposedly. Supposedly, he is the best candidate, uh, but I believe several others would have been better. So here you're clearly showing your opinion here. And you think, you know, from your opinion and from what you know, that it would have been the other way. So you, you're really disagreeing with it. But, you know, that's who they chose and that's who they think is the best. Okay, number five here. 
uh, that candidate claims that supposedly he would do better, a better job on the economy. But from his uh, previous track record, so you have some you know, evidence of like how he did before, uh, I doubt it. So again, you have more doubt about this when you say supposedly. So that's the way we tend to use it more. Okay, anyway, um, again, I hope you got it. I hope you get a better feel of when you would be more likely to use one than the other. And I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.